Hey everybody, Brandon from the SNS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society with you here along with the Heel Will Mahoney. Snack time, Pally. And I'm kind of confused as to whether to call this a quick chips or a snack brief. I'm not really sure. Usually when we do pretzels or any kind of pretzels, it's a quick chips, but this has got Butterfinger involved too, so I don't know if it's a snack brief either. Let's so call it a snacktacular. Snacktacular, there you go. You'll have to remind me of that when I go to edit it. All right, so basically we've got here, Will found the Uts, not, UT, not UTZ wet reckless eating, Uts, mini pretzels covered with real, real Butterfinger. Butterfinger branding in the house, that's very important, that tells you it's authentic. Absolutely. Candy pieces upon the pretzels. Uh, very interesting mustard yellow looking colored bag here. Where did you find these again? Found them at the Target. Target. I think they're pretty widely available. Mm -hmm. Let's see, price point on these was it they weren't that much. I want to say $349 maybe, but it's a good size. It's a, it's kind of a movie theater size bag, mm -hmm. you know, that you would see at the concession stand. So it's not a full-on huge drive, but these this feels very um feels like there's a lot of them in there, so it seems like a good value. Very Obviously, heavy. it's a dessert item. You're not gonna be eating a ton of them. I mean, you might be, but I don't know. I can't imagine you would be, but I mean who knows? We'll see. You will see. They might just be so darn good we're just going to guzzle them down like, you know, they're going out of style. Absolutely. So basically it tells us to enjoy the crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery flavor of Butterfinger combined with the crispy crunch of Uts pretzels. And who doesn't love Butterfinger? I don't I know. I mean, and, and who doesn't <laughs> like pretzels? I mean, Bart Simpson's love them. Butterfinger's, you know, it's up there. It's, I would probably put it in a top, top five. Not a top good top face there, though. All right, well, they smell interesting. Now is that an interesting good or an interesting bad? Not great. Well, it's I'm getting I'm getting the chocolate peanut buttery. So it's it's odd smelling at yeah. first because I think we you would expect it to be more pretzely. Yeah. But being there, the pretzels are buried mm -hmm. underneath the chocolate butterfinger. So it's a butterfinger smell. Yeah. But kind of kind of with maybe a bit of a sour taste to it. Wow. Oh. They they aren't talking about them being coated. They are like sticking. They get these are coated. They're not. When they say covered with real Butterfinger, no doubt, they're covered. They got little bits on them. Yeah. Check it out. I mean, those things got, there's like crunched up Butterfinger innards all over the outside of them. And you can see the little burn marks on the pretzels coming through. Yeah. Very authentic looking. Yeah. They're, and it got breaking in half. I mean, they are covered all the way around. It's like they are, they've been submerged in chocolate, and Butterfinger. So, when they say covered in Butterfinger, I will give them immediately truth in advertising. There's no uh, doubt they are covered in Butterfinger. And they're very sticky. Yeah. So, let's go ahead let's and get this. to it. Now, of course, classic Oops. Butterfinger advertising featured The Simpsons, especially mm -hmm. Bart Simpson. Mm -hmm. Generally having his Butterfinger stolen and then retrieving it through nefarious no means. No better better than lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Indeed. Now, why is it that these kind of commercials from these things always feature somebody stealing something? Mm -hmm. Like the Lucky Charms, the kids always wanted the dude's Lucky Charms. The Tricks Rabbit had to steal the tricks. Barney always wanted to steal the Fruity Pebbles. Because these things are so good, you will commit larceny. Oh my god. So you're just training kids to steal things from the beginning. You want it, you go get it. Absolutely. Uh, so, what do you think about these? The Butterfinger taste hit two of me. The chocolate and the Butterfinger, because it's covered with them, you get that first. And it overwhelms. Mm -hmm. It overwhelms. The pretzel sneaks up on you. It is there, but it takes a good three, four seconds to get to it. Yeah. It's like you've got to fight for it. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh, salty pretzel, it's there. Mm -hmm. If anything, I would say, there's almost too much Butterfinger. A little bit. Because you got to... It overwhelms, and it's like the pretzel's there, but it's like it doesn't hit you for a while. You, I think I'd want it to hit sooner. Maybe the Butterfinger ratio needs to be turned down. There's also the factor, we're getting the mall rats action. These are some messy damn things. No doubt about <laughs> it. You might have to stink palm somebody after this. You don't know. But, I'm um, noticing that, but it's because there's so much dark. I mean, they are truly, truth in advertising, they are covered. And it's kind of like it's almost backwards, though. It's like the peanut butter on the outside from the Butterfinger, then the chocolate, mm -hmm. then the, the pretzel. Then the pretzel. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, 
It's all there. It's just... It was almost like a little more of the crunchy action from the Butterfinger on the outside, too. Like a candy kind of thing. That would be kind of cool. Now, this one, I will say this. I pulled this one right out of the bag and immediately ate it. I'm not getting the, the stinky bomb. Well, that's good. Oh, yeah. It's right, you can't hold on to it because they're drenched in chocolate. Okay. It is what it is. Between the hot lights and everything, who knows? That's right. true. So Heat I th is on. I think I'm going to go ahead and give these, like, a three-quarter thumbs up in terms of flavor. They're really, really good. Really tasty, nice and melty and good. Um, I couldn't eat a ton of them though. Mm -hmm. uh, they probably yeah, really sent me into a. It's like eating a candy bar. bar. Yeah, so you know maybe three or four of them, and then I'd be pretty good. But then again, there's some nights I can eat a whole bag. Who knows? But yeah, three quarters thumbs up. What do you think? I would say so too. Mm -hmm. I'll go three quarters on that. They're they're damn good. They're exactly what they say they are. If anything, I think they're just the covered in chocolate and butterfinger. It's just it's a bit overwhelming. Yeah, it could be, it could be dialed back. A ton to bring out more pretzel. Drizzled yeah. with Butterfinger instead of covered. Yeah, maybe drizzled with Butterfinger instead not totally straight up submerged because it just kind of overwhelms. And I like my pretzel. I like my crunchity. I like my salty. And it's there, but it's just not as strong as I would like it. Right? Or maybe even using a larger pretzel inside of the... Inside Possibly. Of the and I actually got that, that thought looking at them. I thought they were bigger, but they're yeah. actually pretty small overall. They're not showing them at actual size obviously on yeah. the bag there but yeah three quarters thumbs up yeah. both ways they're, they're hard to go wrong with them they're no. definitely worth checking out they're a good dessert treat i'll be the judge of these butterfingers oh my god it's terminator 22. <laughs> I need don't some ever lay your finger on my butterfinger see somebody's <laughs> always trying to steal the stuff i don't understand i'm stealing it, it. i'm taking it he's coming nice odor he's laying a finger on our we got a run-in going on here uh-oh here we go I'm liking it. He's liking it? I'm All right. Liking it. Give it a full thumb there? No, no, a little bit. Three quarter? One, yeah, there we go. Three quarters thumbs up all the way around. There you three go. Three times the three quarters thumbs up from Hillwell, from Terminator 20C who disappeared again, from me, the big B. Click on the link down below. Join the SAS on Facebook. <laughs> we have a great time. Uh, at, follow him at Hillwell Mahoney, not Wheel Hill Mahoney. Uh, follow <laughs> me at Brandon Reich SAS. Uh, and uh, click the like button, click the subscribe. If you don't like, don't watch. In the meantime, in between time, we're going to watch some wrestling, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.